Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Okay, so hope you are doing good and you can start. We are, we are doing very well. Can, can we start? Eh, we can start. I think we have a considerable number. We are about nine here. Yeah. I don't know if there are newcomers, but... Uh... Um, can you see my screen? Yes, we can see you introducing Zoom up. Okay. Okay, so... Um, I welcome you once again. Thank we, you. Yeah, so so we, gradually we are almost through with the, the JavaScript tutorials. We have we have we have covered a lot. We are just left with we practicing whatever we have learned. If we don't practice, then whatever I've done is cost ninety, or whatever we have learned will be cost ninety. So um, we started with introduction to JavaScript, where we we look at how to um, declare variables in um, JavaScript, how to assign variables. We also look at the various data types that we have in um, JavaScript. And, and we said we have two main classification of data types. Um, who, who, can remi uh, who can remind us um, the, the two main classifications? We said we, said we can group them into two main sections. Okay, so if you don't remember, we said we have the primitive types and we have the reference types. So under the primitive type, that's where we have strings, we have numbers, we have undefined, we have um, we, we have now and, and, and the rest. We have about uh, five to seven um, data types under the primitive types. And under the reference type, that's where we have objects and we have, um, we have, we have, Arrays and the rest. Array, array and object, yeah. Yes. So from there, then we, we, we look at the object itself, how to um, create objects in JavaScript and their properties, how to um, get the properties of objects. Then um, we also look at the functions. Uh, functions, we look at how to, the two main ways of creating functions in JavaScript. We have the normal one, we have the uh, arrow functions. Okay, then from there, we, we, we started looking at the array methods and, and us have been um, hammering on that. Uh, array method is one of um, the, the main back, backbone of JavaScript and you cannot run away from that. If you want to be guru in JavaScript, then whatever you have done, make sure you go back, revise and try your best to practice more on that. And, and I've, I've, I've even uh, highlighted some of them for you, especially the map function, the filter map function, the slice function, the, the method, the all method, sorry for saying function, function, the all method. So the, the filter method on array, we have the, the map, we have um, the slice, we have the splice, uh, we have for each, remember them. So please make sure you go over them and, and we'll be using them. Okay, then yesterday we, we started with the JS DOM. Mm -hmm. We started with um, a JavaScript um, document object or model. So if, if you can see my screen, that is what we did yesterday. Yesterday we started with the introduction to um, document object model. And, and this is one aspect that Will, will let you understand the main logic or the, 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 the background of JavaScript, how the whole JavaScript um, frameworks were able to build on top of, of JavaScript. So based on, based on what we, we, we did yesterday and what we are going to do today, and people came out with the three main, we have, they are, they are more than, they are more than three, 
framework. JavaScript, it, it has a lot of frameworks out there, but the most popular ones are, we have, we have the Angular, we have React, and we have Vue.js, as I've been mentioning them to you almost every day. So that's it. Apart from them, we have other ones that are not quite popular. For the, the main reason why these three are the outstanding ones, you can, um, if you read about it, you can see Java uh, React was built uh, by Facebook. So Facebook built React. So you can imagine this, this company, no matter how people start using it because Facebook is Facebook. And, and, and when, when they saw the flaws in, 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 in React, there were some flaws. And based on that, the same team, the same team who, who built, who, who worked on the React, also came out with with um, Vue.js, yes. But the older one, the the oldest among them is Angular. Angular came, and based on the flaws, they, they came out with React, and later on we have Vue.js, and now we have Next.js, which is built on top of Vue, and we have Next.js, which is built on top of React. I don't want to <laughs> um, bombard you with some of this framework you let's focus on what we are going to do today and um later on later on that is from next week no i think next next week we will start i'll, I'll just dedicate the saturday for the local storage that is the database in your browser as i showed you yesterday we'll be diving into that next week how to store your data in local storage and the rest then from there, Sunday, God willing, we might start the Vue.js straight, straight away. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Emmanuel for so this week and see if we'll be available for the, for the rest of the um, uh, uh, weeks within this month. And I will see how best I, I can schedule that. If you take one, one, Saturday, one day, then I also take the next day. We'll see how best you can schedule that. All right. Or oh, I'll break and he'll just take over it. I'll come back later. Okay, so let's see. So yesterday we started with um, a document object model, and 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 we. we Senator we, Robert, will yeah. you can you zoom your screen a bit for us? Uh, okay. Okay, so this is what we did yesterday. This is what we did yesterday. And, and I know by now some of you have practiced them. And those of you who are following us on YouTube, I know by now you have seen that I've, I've, I've uploaded all the videos that you were. <laughs> you, 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 you were on me, Mr. Mr. Abdul, have you seen it? <laughs> no, today I was since I went to school, so okay. I, I closed very late. I, last night I did the upload. I intentionally didn't send it to the group. I thought maybe. Some of you have mm. a notification on and you have seen it. But up to now, I've not heard anything from anyone. I don't know if someone has seen it. If you go there, you see yesterday I uploaded all the three videos that the previous two videos and yesterday's one. So I've, I've done everything. Okay, so I think today we have some new comments in the class and you, you shouldn't worry ourselves. Let's 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 move. Let's start. Okay, so um today we are going to look at events we are going to look at events yesterday uh, almost everything that we did was around how to select or how to how to manipulate the dom or how to target how to target um the elements in your html excuse me let me let me go live so um that's what we did yesterday how to target the elements on, on your web page using JavaScript. That's what we did yesterday. And, and, and we saw the various ways of doing that. We, 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 we learned that we can use the what? The, the document.get element by ID, by class, by tag name, by, uh, by what? Query selector, if you remember them. And based on that, you can select any element. You can select any element here um, based on the class or the element itself or the, the um, ID of the element on the doc on the doc 
on, on the document. So after selecting it, you can do whatever you want to do, whether you want to change the, 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 the style. So you can see that most of the style that you are seeing here wasn't done with uh, CSS straight away. We, we did everything that you are seeing here with JavaScript. This small, this underline here, the line that you are seeing here was done by JavaScript. Okay? We also, we also um, changed the background to green using JavaScript, if you remember all these things. Okay, so like I said, it's not all about just, just targeting the DOM and, and changing the styles or the look of, of your web page. So we are going to look at we are going to look at the we are going to look at the various events eh? events when when I say events as as I I hope I introduce you to JavaScript I said um, JavaScript is all about adding um, interaction or interactivity to your website right so we are going to look at how to do that the interactions how do you do that that is assuming you, you type something here. And you, you click on the mouse, uh, or you click on the on the button. What should happen? So that one is one. Another thing is, um, let's say if you don't use this one, you want to use keyboard. Hmm? If you type something here and you press enter, you want something to happen. So that's the event. That is the event. So the so so um, yesterday, I think the first the first. Um, Thing that we did was this, right? We just console.log the directory and we, we call the document. And we saw so many properties. And inside the properties, we have other um, properties and events inside. Okay, so let's see. Let's create, let's let's create a new file. Let's create a new file. Let's call it um, events.js. Events.js. And, and let's come back here and change the the, the source. Mm, let's 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 um, link this one to what we have just created. The events. All right. So let's let's just link it there. Okay. So right now, let's. See what is the first thing that we will be doing? Let me close this one. So the first thing I want us to do is. I want us to create, um, let's create another button. That is after the UL tab. Mm, let's create another button here. Let's go back to our HTML and create a new button there. Mm, so with a button, um, let's see. So just create a button, button with a class of BTN, Another class of BT and um, DAC. Then another button of another class of BTN. So I'm using the emit. That is why I'm doing this. If, if you have the emit, I think if you are using VS Code, automatically emit is installed. Eh? So just do this. You can follow what I'm doing. If not, then you, you just wait. When I press enter, you see what will happen and you just type whatever you'll be seeing on the screen. So BTN um, blog. Okay, and let's let's see um, what what should we give it? Submit or oh, we have submit here. We have a submit here. So let's see. Just just say click me. You can you can put any name there. That's the name of my or oh, click here. Okay. So this is my button. Let me save it. Go back to the screen and see what I have. Okay, so this this is the button. So we are just going to try um, the event with this button. As time goes on, we will come back and 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 apply whatever we are going to learn on this form and this this button that you are seeing here. Okay. So so all of you should just do this. Just just create a new button here. Create a new button here. Give it these classes. Mm, just give it these classes. Okay, so the first event that we are going to look at is called a click event. The first event that we are going to look at is the, called a click event. So the click event 
is what happens when you click on any button on any web page, whether the website was built with Angular, whether it was built with Node, uh, uh, Vue.js, React, whatever. If only you have a button there and you click on a button, you, you are, you are um, exhibiting the click event um, functions or the properties. That's, that's what you are calling. So, so that's the first event that we are going to look at, the click event. So we have, we have, um, we have so many ways of doing that. And, and let me show you the simplest approach. This is the simplest way. We'll come back to this one. I'm just introducing to the simplest way. After that, then we go back and start using what we learned yesterday. I don't want us to um, override that or forget that. So let me teach you this and come back again. So just say on click. So when 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 you when you want to uh, use any event, uh, when you start with the on, you can see we have a lot of events here. We have the what, the on on about on blur. Yesterday I I I I explained this one. We have on change on change to. Uh, I, I might explain that one to you as time goes on. So this is what we are looking at. This is what we are looking for. Later on, we'll be looking at, we'll be looking for this one too. Uh, this is the double click. Eh? This is a double click. And we have the, 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 this is the single click. So this is the single one. And this one, I don't put any uh, single S or whatever. The, but for double, you have to use DBL click. So that's a double click. Okay, so let's just use on click. So with the on click, what are you what are you calling? So we have to, so we have to call the function. Eh? This this is just the um, the 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 on click um, event property that you are using on this what they call it button. So we have to we have to link this one to a function. We can even write a function here, but ideally that's not the best way. You don't have to just put everything inside here. And you remember. JavaScript is, is um, normally we put it at the, at the bottom here, right? Okay, so let's just, let's just give it a name. Let's say uh, BTN, BTN click, uh, BTN click. What's happening? Click, all right, so with this. So right now let's go and create this function. Uh, let's, let's go and create this function. And this function will not do anything. It's just going to console.log something. So it's going to print something in the console. So how do you create a function in JavaScript? You know that. So you can use the function with a name. Then you just do what? Um, you just do this. And and um, so this, this is your function, right? This is your function. So the function has this name. And you have already linked that to your to your on click event over here. So all that I want to do is uh, the first thing. Let's just print something to the console. So console dot log. You clicked me. So let's do this. So right now let's open the console. If I'm moving fast, let me know. Okay, let's open the console and 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 see what we have inside. Okay, so let's just click on this. You can see, um, this this is what we we have inside the function. That is, we are just printing. Uh, you click me if you can remember this. That, that's it here. You clicked me, so this is the this is the button. This is the this is the name of the function btn click, and and we have our button here. We have hooked that to the what to the click event on click event. Please, am I making sense? Do you guys understand? Hello, guys. Hello. Yeah, do you guys understand up to this point? Oh, for sure, you are following. Yes, yes, uh, uh, Senior Robert, we are following. Okay, if, if you have any question or if you don't understand anything, please let me know. Okay. Okay, so let's move on. Let's move on. So 
I like I said, this is one way of hooking your 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 uh your function to 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 any event, eh? Whether it's an on-click event, uh, on mounts or whatever, we are going to see the other event. But I don't want us to use this approach. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this and 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 um comment this one out and just paste it down here. Let me remove everything that you are seeing here. Okay. So here, what what you are going to do is we are going to we are going to target this button using what we learned yesterday. And and I want someone to just try that one for me before I add whatever I want to add to that. We are going to we are going to target this function with whatever we learned yesterday, whatever you remember. Just, just do that for me. So someone should target, someone should select this button for me. Here, who can do that for me? Yes, guys. Which, which button is that? Oh, this button, this button. I don't want us to use this approach. We are going to use what we learned yesterday. We are going to apply it. So how do you select this button you, based on what we learned yesterday? Let me comment this one out. We are not going, we'll be using this function data, but I want us to select the, 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 the what do you call it? The button first. And who is ready to do that? Since since the the button is having a, a class name, mm -hmm. we we can target it by by class. By the class name, right? Yes, please. What's the class name? The class name is BTN. Okay. Apart from this one, do we have another BTN somewhere? Or you don't have any BTN anywhere? You have BTN somewhere. Uh, no, no, that's all. No, I think we have we have another button here. We have BTN, BTN, that, and this one is BTN, BTN, that. Ah, uh, they they have the same name, class name. Yeah. What 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 of using the query selector? Then you just select the button since this one is the only button that we have. What about that one? Yeah, we can. The query selector too will be okay. 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 So, so we are just going to select the button there. Eh? So let's say you can you can just use the let or the var or the const. The const means you will not change the name again. So it depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day. So let's use the var. Var. Btn. Eh? Var btn that's my button name equals uh -huh. document guys you are doing this together document dot query selector dot query selector mm -hmm. then you put into brackets and target the btn name so so that's what button right yes button so you do uh, Button, right? Yes, button, yeah. Okay, so so right now, um, if let if if you want to check whether we have selected a button, if you want to be sure, you can just console dot log out. Console dot BTN. Log. BTN. All right. So right now, let's go back to the console and check. So you can see that's true. So we have our uh, click me button here, right? So that's it. That's it. That's it. So. Let's move on. So um, now what I want us to do is we are going to add the, the click event to this. So this is how you do it. So all that you have to do is what? You have to select this button. So btn dot, dot add event listener. So this event listener will take an argument or parameters. 
So the first, the first one will be the 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 type of event listener yeah, that you want to use. So we have various types of event listener. For now, what we are going to use is called a click event, right? So you can just put yes. click there. And I'm saying this is not the only uh, the this is not the only event listener. So as you can see, all these that you are seeing here are all hot event listeners. They are all event listeners. So we have what? We have um, key down, key press, keep up. Um, so key, key down is when you press on your enter key. Mm? This, this is what will fire. Then when you release the enter key, this is key up. When you press and you release it, this is what will happen. And when you press it, this is also what will happen. Okay, so uh, input will uh, use for what? Um, um, your, your input, your text input. Then drag start, drag over, drag leave. All these are, are, are mount events that you can use. So double click, as you can see, this is the double click. Um, um, what what we are looking for is this. We are just looking for the click um, event. So let me repeat myself. I said, after selecting your elements, and here we are targeting that using the query selector, we selected the what, the button. And, and, and based on that, we are adding event listeners or event listener. So with the event listener, it will take two parameters. So the first parameter will be your type of event listener that you want to use. So we, we just want to use the, the click event. Then the next one will be the what? The, the function. The next one will be the function. And, and we have already created one. You can, you can put a function inside here, but it's not advisable because if you do that, your, 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 your code will be like, it, it, it will not be easily readable for other developers or let's say junior developers, right? But for senior developers, if you do something like this, they will understand it. But for best um, practice sake, just 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 um, define your uh, your function somewhere and come and call it here. So here we can just call the function. So what is the name of the function? Who can tell me the name of the function? The name of the function is BTN. Are you sure? Hey, no. BTN click. BTN click. Yeah. Click, yes. BTN click, does it. Okay, so when we save this and we go back, we are expecting to see what we, we saw here. That's what we did here. And we console log what the, uh, the click me event. Uh, so that's it. So you click me. So let's go back and, 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 and click on this mouse. So you can see it's working, right? So that's it. So we have been able to achieve the same thing, but you can see the first one is very, very simple and cover shot, right? But but I want us to, I want us to apply whatever we learned yesterday. Okay. Okay. So um, I think Mr. Imanofosu is asking question inside the inside the um, back end group. One, so, someone should reply to him and tell him um, based on the agreement if if you want to start. Is it next week or next two weeks? Mr. Abdul, can you, can you reply him? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Okay, so let's move on. As you were saying, we can give him one day next week and also take one day. Aha, uh -huh, so we can start next week, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay, so so we have been able to achieve what we did previously with this um, approach too. Okay, so um, apart from apart from the, the um, click, here, like I said, we also have another one. So let me comment this one out. Eh? Let me copy and comment out and just paste over here. So instead of click, you can use double click. So D, B, L. Eh? So double click. So let's use this one, this event. So the first one is a click event, and the, the next one is a double click event. Uh, so with a double click event, when you click on it once, nothing will happen unless you double click on it. 
So that is the meaning of this. Let me see if, if Okay, so let me check this one. I think this one work. Okay, so when you click on it, it's not to work, but let's see, double click. Okay, so you can see when you double click on it, you you have you have what the the you click me inside the console. It's print out um this inside the console. So this is another event. So it depends on what you are doing and what you want to you want to achieve at the end of the day. So under under click event. We have we have the the single click which is which is which which is denoted by just what click, and we also have um, double click, which is denoted by what this DBL then click that's a double click. Okay, then let's look at another event. In fact, I will not be able to um, um, teach you all the events that we have. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to teach you the one that um, you'll be using, or let's say the frequent used ones. Eh? So let's see, for, for the double click, even for the double click, it depends on what you are doing. You, I don't normally use this. Is, is, is this one, the most popular one is this, the click. For double click, it depends on what you are doing, like I, I, I'm saying. Okay, then apart from these two, we also have another one. So another one will be the, the mouse event, eh? the mouse event. So here we can say uh, mouse down and mouse up. So we can use that event also to, to, to see. So let's see, so mouse, so there's another event, mouse down. Is that the right spellings? Okay. So that one, who can tell me what will happen? Based on the name, who can tell me what will happen? We are trying to print this to the console. So we have hooked this, this function to, to this event, right? So we are using the mouse down. And I'm, I'm asking, the mouse down, what do you think will happen? Uh, uh, whenever you click the button, it will it will print. Uh, you click the main on the console. Yes. So so mouse down when you click when you click on the on the on the button, straight away it's going to what print it for you. Then the mouse up that one unless you move the mouse before it will print for you. So let's look at the difference. Okay. So you can see immediately you just click. So this one is, it it works like the click and the, 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 the double click event. Let's look at the mouse up. I think that one will be a bit um, different from this. So mouse up. Uh, let, me, let me copy it because we are taking notes. Eh? We are taking notes, so let me just replace it here. Mouse up. Okay. So you see, when you click on it, nothing will happen, but when you remove the mouse, you see? So when you click on it, nothing will happen, but when you release the mouse, then it will print for you. I hope you guys are also following. We are practicing whatever we, we are doing here. You are not just watching me. Make sure you code along, otherwise everything will be abstract for you. Guys, please do you understand. Please do you understand up to this point. Yes, please. Okay, okay, then the next thing is, right now, I want us to apply what we learned yesterday again. So I want us to like, when I, I think this one can be a, 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 a short quiz. Two, okay. two, just two questions, eh? The first question is, I want to change this title upon clicking on this. Then the next one is, I want to change the whole background of this card upon clicking on this. Who can try? You remember how we did that yesterday? The first one is to change the title. When you click on the, this, uh, 
what do you call it? This button. Then the next question is change the background of this as you saw previously. Eh? Change the background of this. Change the background of this. When you click on this. Go away. Yeah. Are, are you coding along? Hey, I, I was about to ask a question. Okay. Uh, is he, uh, you were talking about what learned yesterday. Yesterday, some of us wasn't fat. So it's like, me, even though for me, I'm, I've been doing some few coding with HTML and CSS and a little of JavaScript. But some of us weren't here yesterday. So if you are saying you learned yesterday, we don't, I don't really get it clear. Oh, okay. But, but yesterday's lesson has been uploaded. So even whether you are here or not, you could go oh. to the YouTube handle and then watch. Uh, and you will I, be updated. I, yeah, please. When I got here, and that, that was the time you closed as early. I was not working with so I didn't hear whatever happened throughout. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I don't know the channel, I don't know the name. Yeah, that is why. So guys, I think no one has watched it yet. And okay, you have five viewers here. And this one is no 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 views. Okay. So guys, this is it. We have we have the two three videos here. That is this this is the uh, part one. This is the part two. And this is I think um hey, with that. Okay. I've, I've muted the person. Okay, guys, so that's it. Please, we have everything that we, we, we are learning here live on, on, on our YouTube channel. You can just go there and, 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 and learn it. Eh? If you don't understand anything, we are here. We are learning together. No one is teaching. I'm just, I'm also learning. So <laughs> you can just post it on the platform. As for the platform, we are not using it, but I don't, I, I know more. <laughs> Guys, who, who tried out for me? Those who were here yesterday, who tried out for me? Should I start calling in? Amate. Hello, Amate. Then where, where is my good friend? Um Hello. No, is it is it Owusu? Yeah, it's, it's also. I don't know. Also has been answering questions a lot. Also, can you try this one? Oh, Mr. Abdu, are you are you following yes. with your machine or today to didn't connect? I have connected. Okay, so so let me give you but, some <laughs> because I'm using one screen, I am switching and so I'm not able to, but you can give me less. Like I can try. I can connect my distance. Okay, so so you stop sharing. Let me stop sharing so that you can share. We will guide you and do it. You can share your screen. Anyone okay. at all can also try. In the process, maybe you have been able to do it. You can just let us know. You share your screen and you, you, you show us whatever you have done. Okay. Can you see me? Yeah, we can see you. Okay. So then, okay, so Mr. Abdul, you just, just do one. The first one is to change the, 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 the heading or the title. The first, to change the title, the heading or the title? Is, is the heading rather, not the title. When I say title, that's what we see on the title, uh, the title bar, right? Yes. Mm. And I, if I don't talk well, you guys will hold me. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. So we can we can do uh, let, and then we 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 btn to be equal to get um, 
elements. Hey, I want to get element by IDO. And where is your document? Hey, document dot. Hey, hey. Document dot get element by. get element by ID. So let me go and check the ID of the... Mr. Abudo. Yes? BTN has been already been declared and you are reassigning it here again. Hey. Okay, hey. I can do uh, title. Okay. So get, get element by ID. Let me go and see the... the Hey, the, the ID of the whole, so this is it, main header. Uh, are you sure that's it? That's, that's what you'll be changing. That's what you'll be targeting. Hey, no, head, header title. Yes, that's what you have to target. Yes, I'll target this header title. Then uh, I put it here. That's it. Uh -huh. So how do you change the text? <laughs> I'll use. <laughs> oh, but you can refer. You just just. Yes, just... I'll, yeah. I'll use the. I'll do a title. is equals to, then I use the inner test. Hey. hey. Do title dot. Think, um, title, dot. Title, title dot. Text content or inner text. Yeah, use text content. Or inner uh, text. I shouldn't, I shouldn't oh, use yeah. the... You can use inner text or text content. I want uh -huh. to use the inner text. Mm -hmm. Equals. Then, any then name. I, uh, the new name. Any name that you want to use. Uh, I'll make it. Uh, uh, to nobody. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, hey. That's it. No, no, it no, no. That's not what I want. <laughs> I, I said it should show when you click on the button, not straight away like this. <laughs> I'm not, I hope you are helping. Go ahead and help. <laughs> so, so what I, what I want, so, what I would advise you to do is just just change this just change all your properties so instead of re declaring the um the title dot inner text here just cut yeah. the dot inner text and 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 continue with the first one uh-huh so you just, cut it just cut it and go and paste it um after your 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 bracket so just change it here Okay. Yeah. After get element by the header title. Yeah. Uh, okay. After the after the bracket after the bracket. Dot after the like this. Uh, dot. So bring your dot. Dot. Okay. And you know, just cut from document to the last part. Cut everything. Delete, delete what you have here. Go and paste inside your function. That one should, that one should save you. No, 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 so don't, should... don't, no, no. We are not consoling. Uh -huh. Okay. So, no, no, you can leave it. Uh -huh. You just paste it anywhere. Just paste it anywhere. Okay, save it and go. Go and check. So right now, click on your, what happened? Nothing. 
Hey, um, I think he's not completed the ad event listener. He has not added the click and then the function. Oh yeah, Mr. Mr. Abdul, see, look at your button. After the button, you have to, you have to. Okay, so BTN add event listener bracket. Bracket, yeah. Uh -huh. Then I bring the click. Yes, we are looking for click. Is it double quote or single quote? You can use any one. Click. Then you call the function name after that. So comma. Comma. Then I do BTN click. click. Okay. That so one too is in quotes, right? No. This one we are just calling the function. No. Okay. Don't bring the brackets. Is that all? Yes. Yeah. Click. Hey, Voila. Voila. Yes. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Guys, so that's it. If, if you don't understand, you can ask Mr. Abdul for him to explain this right now before we move on. Because I'll not, I'll not go by it again. Guys, do you understand? Yes. I this one, the, I guess, today is my first time, so. So you, you want to ask the question of the whole show? Uh, I will not. The whole show. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. this one, when, uh, call me, call me free night call, and I'll explain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll send you a new, uh, James, new. James, <laughs> all those who are new to this, I think um, if, if you say we are going back, you just drag us to to general and, yeah, and yeah, that, sure. <laughs> so so what our advice is whatever we have learned so far is on our youtube um channel just go there though because we are is it, this one no we don't have time to go and edit the video so after that we just upload it like the way we are all discussing talking like this so sometimes two hours video and <laughs> i don't know how you are <laughs> going to watch it but try your best and, and watch it please, no, all right. please. Thank you, can, you can send out the link. We want the link to the channel, please. Oh, I just opened the channel. It's code boot. Code boot. There is it. Code boot. Uh, just just go to YouTube and search for code boot. There is it. Let me stop sharing. Oh, I'm still the one sharing. Okay, so the next person, the next person should 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 answer the next question. Hey, we have a lot to achieve, when one hour one is almost gone right now. Uh, who is going to do the oh. next question for me? Yeah, I've, I've done it. You have done it, eh? Yeah. Okay, so can you share your screen? Okay. Yeah, so this is it. Okay. So, uh, I created a variable list. Mm -hmm. And then I called a document by a tag name. Okay. So from my HTML, we can see the list uh, tags here. Yes. There is four of them. Okay. And then from there, I created a for loop. Yeah. To so look through the various lists and then applying a background color to them. I choose background color of green. Okay. Okay. So right now when you click on it, what happens? Let's see. Green. Oh, okay. 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 That's good. Guys, those of you who don't understand this, um, we did this yesterday, right? How to how to loop over the elements and, and change the background using the for loop. So so like I said, we have the we have everything on, on the channel. Just go there and, and watch it. Let's move on to the next one. Thank you very much, um, Osu. Let me let me also share my screen so that we will we, we'll move on. Okay, okay, okay. So right now, after learning this, what's next? The next thing I want us to I want us to learn is we also have some um properties on the on the on the on the events on the various events 
So here we are going to we are going to pass um, a parameter here. That you can put any anything here, but normally this one accepts events. Eh? So so normally it is called we use e or event over here. Like I said, you can use a, b, c, d, up to z. You can use anything here. And what I what I want to show you here is not just console.log, you click me. There are some properties that you can get on any event. So let's see. So let's just let, let's just console.log this e here. Console.log e. And let's see the, the various properties that you can you can get. So let me use the click. Let me use the click. Uh, okay. So let's console.log just e. Here we, we are the 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 btn click function is accepting a, a parameter and the parameter i'm saying that is an event right but but you can use any variable that you wish and then for best practice sake in javascript normally this one is called event in in some tutorials they will use um events like this okay misspelling so event like this or personally whenever i want to use this me i don't stress myself to um type the full name i just use what e for this so right now let me save this and let's console.log this event and see the various properties that we have on this okay so let me just click on this okay so you can see these are all the events that we have on the e eh? On the e, these are all the properties. Eh? These are all the properties that we have, and with these properties, um, like I, I always say, I can't teach you or I can't explain all these properties one by one, one by one for you. But I'll try my best to explain the 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 ones that you'll be using most. So in 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 JavaScript, if if you want to do um uh, React JS, then what you'll be using most is one this this target so you get e dot target so the, the everything that you are seeing here is coming from the e so if you want to access any of them you can just do dot then the name right so if you want to if you want to assess the target the e has been already defined here right the e is already here so you can just do e dot target then you get a target okay so so we'll be using the target today if 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 we have about one hour, eh? yeah, surely we are going to use the target. So we'll be using targets. Then another thing will be the type. There's also a type here. So the type will give you. If you see it, let me know. Okay, so there's type here. So you can see what is the type. The type is what click, right? So 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 the type will tell you the type of event that you 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 have used. So here we are using the click event. That is that is why the type has been assigned to what click. Assuming we don't use this one, eh? We don't use this one. Let's use the double click one. Let's use the double click and go and inspect and see the type. So so I double click. Let's go to type. What is type? Okay, so you can see it's what double click, right? That's it. So, so the type will just tell you the type of event that you are using. With a target, I will explain the target later for you. Then, the next thing is the what client X and client what Y. What does it do? The client X and Y will just will just tell you the position of your mouse as you are moving. The X, the X axis, as we all know, X axis is the what the the, the vertical one. And I'm the Y. Hey, X axis is what? Uh, is it horizontal? Yes, X is horizontal, and and, horizontal. and the, yes, and the Y is the, the the vertical. So so the the client X and the client Y here will just will just show you the position of your mouse at the time of you clicking. Okay, so so with this one, you'll be you'll be um inspecting this one right now. You'll be doing some some magic here. Okay, so um where should we start from? Where should we start from? Let's 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 start with just the X and the Y. 
that's the mouse uh, uh, position. Then after that, we we also look at the, the type, you know, the type you have already looked at the type. Then after that, we look at some keyboard um, event listeners and the keyboard event listeners too. Then we move on. Okay, so let's let's go back and 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 use dot dot client client. Let's start with X, eh? Client X. So dot client X. I don't want to use double click. Let me use the single click. Let me have. Okay, so let me comment this one out and save it. So right now, look at where I'm clicking. You know, when I click here, look at it. Look at the value that I'll get. You get what? One, two, three. Let me come here. Do you get the same one, two, three? You see it's changing. Let's, let's come and click here. So look at the distance. So here is 123. And then this side is what? 1,000 and what? Um, 1,000 and 100 and what? 80. That's 1180. So let's click here too. This one is what? The middle. So it's, it's around 600 and what? Uh, 640, 48. Guys, please, is, are, are you following? So this one, what I'm teaching right now, um, why are you even going to apply this? Some of these things, I'm just I'm just showing that they also exist, but there, there, there are some there are some projects that you might apply in some of these um, concepts. Personally, like I said, most of my web apps uh, is admin, admin dashboard and those things. So we don't even normally use this one. But if you are building some nice UIs that you want to capture the user um, click events, that's where you use these ones. Okay, so let's go back and use Y. So let me just copy for note sick and 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 just use the Y. So the Y here. So that's to the same thing. When you click here and you click, you click here. Eh? You can see the keep charts changing. Guys, I follow you. So that is the Y. So for the Y axis, is this, but for the X axis, that one will be from this side to this side. And the Y axis will just pick this one. That's why you can see they are all in the same ring, that four, 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 four something. Because it, it, we, are, we, are, we are just limiting ourselves to this. And I'm saying that the Y axis will start from somewhere here up to the last end. Okay. So that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. All right, so let's move on to the next one. The next event that I want us to discuss here will be the will be the keyboard keyboard event. Assuming you want the user to um, press and hold, let's say, press and hold the 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 enter key or the alt key or um, any key in addition to the click event before you you want it to fire any function that you have written you can do that so you can do e dots e dots the odd key so the odd key we all know the odd key right so the odd key so right now i'm using click event plus the odd key let me just go and click on it just click on it nothing is happening right you are saying what Console is not, I didn't bring the login. Hey, Log, okay, sorry. So right now, let's click on it. It's false. Why are you getting false? Because I didn't I didn't press and hold the hot the, the hot key. Right now, let me press and hold it and click this button. So I've 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 pressed and hold the hot key. So you can see it's true over here. You can you can demonstrate or you can practice whatever I'm, I'm teaching here. So the same thing, if you want to use the enter key, then you can just do what? The enter key. So enter key. So let me press this one. Hey, oh, we don't, we don't have the end. Is it capta? Let me see if it is capta E. Some of these keyboards. 
undefined. Okay, let me use the enter key. No. Okay, so you can see with the enter key, that one should work. Was that not what you said? Key down and key up. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, you can see that when you click on the mouse, whatever you are doing with the click event can also be done with the enter key straight away. So meaning you cannot combine both both the what um both both the click event and the and the enter key at the same time because whatever when you click on this, you want something to happen. The same thing when you use the enter key. You want something to happen. So meaning with that one, you are not going to use click event. You use the what the 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 the, the keyboard rather here. You don't use the click event, you use the keyboard. All right. But I think there are some other keys that we can combine. I think the shift key will shift, shift key. Yes. Shift key. Let's let's try that one. I think that one should work. False. All right. So let me let me press and hold the shift key. So you see, it's giving me true. So you can practice. You can also try it over there and see. Okay. So that that's it about the combination of some keyboards in addition to your click event. Um. Let's 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 move on because I want us to be able to finish this project today. If I'm not able to finish it, the Mumbaba Kotwal show. Okay, so let's 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 move on to the, the form. Uh, let's move on to the form. Right now, we have done some keyboards and some click click, double click, mouse mouse, and whatever even. Let's look at the form. Right now, we are going to target the form itself. So the form, please let's come back and add ID to the form. So the ID, let's give it an ID of what? ID of form. Form. Just come back and give your form an ID of what form. Okay, so we are going to comment everything here out and start a new chapter. That's the form. The same thing. So you can say, so you can say uh, oh. Because query selector, right? Into brackets, hash form. Let me see if I have my form here. So form console.log. Form. Let's see if you have the form. Okay, so you can see we have the form over here, right? Okay, so we have the form over here. So please, uh, um, right now we are going to look at this one. How to um, um, submit a form, how to target whatever the user is inputting here and bind it. So then, well, that's the way you bind it to the, to, the, to, the, to the button here, you post it. So that's what we are going to look at. Based on that, I think we can start our project. Okay, so let's look at the form. So with the form right now, I've, 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 I've selected a form. Then the next thing is, I want to add some, um, um, some what do you call it? Some event to that. So instead of just consoling, let's add some events. So you can just do um, form, form dot, um, Form dot event listener. What do you want the form to to do? You want the form to what? You want to submit. That is, you you want to submit whatever you type here, right? You want to submit to to either a backend, a database, or for now we don't have any database, so we are just going to console it here. That's what we'll be doing. Okay, so so how do you do that? So we also have on the form, we have submit, eh? We have submit, submit. So this is the, this is the event that we are calling. Then as usual, you have to, you have to call your, your function over there. So uh, should you create another function? Let's use the same function. 
let's use the same function. Or right, let me just copy this and, 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 and come back here, paste it, delete everything inside it, and let's reuse it. Okay, so here I can just call my function over here. Uh, and, and let's just console.log this E. Uh, just console.log, or let's say console.log. Console.log. You clicked me, the same thing. Or you submit me, or whatever. You clicked me. Okay, but before that, let me see, let me do some inspection here, please. Look at this submit button. The button here, the type is button. Please just change it to submit. Otherwise, it will not work. If if you just do it as button, it will be button. But right now, we want to do post request. We want to submit whatever we are typing inside the form. So submit. So change this one to submit. All right. So let's see what will happen. Right now, we have we have selected the form with the help of what we learned yesterday using the what query selector with the id eh, of form so we have it inside we have stored it inside what the form and based on what we started learning today we have added what event listener to the form and the, we, we call it what submit and after that we are just calling this function and all that this function is doing is what it's just going to console.log you click me. Let's see if that, that one will work. Okay, so just click on it. Uh, have you seen what is going on? Guys, please are you following? Hello. Yes, we are following. Okay, so when I click on it, do you see what happens? Who can tell me? What do you see? Uh, something comes and goes. Uh -huh. So so why is it happening that way? Because the form the form type is a sub submit. Submit. So 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 like I said. Hmm. Okay, you don't worry. Let's see what let's what let's see what happens. Maybe next year I might um I might teach you. React after teaching uh, view because most of these things you will not see it in view. Most of these things you will not see in view. Even with Vue.js, um, the main reason why I'm teaching all these things, I want you to appreciate the framework. You see that they have done a lot of work for you. They have done a lot of work at the background or the back end for you. Okay, so by default, this is the behavior of any form. Eh? It, it reload or it refresh the whole page whenever you click on the submit you see it comes and it reloads the page and this one will go away so but in javascript you have to you have to stop that thing you have to prevent the form from reloading so how do you do that we do that by using the event dot prevent prevent default default so this right now i've added this that that <laughs> that nonsense should stop right so we you should just see this message inside our inside our console so let's go back and see so just type this you can see right now we have what this so that is the default behavior of any um any form that you create so in order for you to prevent that or stop that you have to you have to you have to add this so you have to prevent the the, the default behavior so that's why we are saying what prevent default then so this one is also what a function that you are calling from the browser please guys are you following and is, is it clear yes okay okay so right now we we know how to submit to the form the next thing i want us to do is I want I want us to get the value that the person will type here, so that when you click on submit, that one will rather be showed here. Based on that, we can we can add that one to our items over here. 
for now, this button, we don't need the it again. I just used it to teach you the various event properties. So let's go back and even comment that one out here because Okay, so just, just, uh, just comment that one out. Okay, so like I said, the next thing is, uh, we, we have to get the value from, from this input, eh? the value from this input. So what we are going to do is we are going to target this input. Uh, we are going to target this input. So this one to, let's give it an ID. Let's give it an ID of, um, ID Ben Kranin and Famami. ID of- We can do ID. user input. Okay, user input, right? Yes. ID of user input. So right now, let's go back and select this ID. And I, for now, I know each and everyone here. Those who were here yesterday can do what I'm asking you to do right now. Just select it. So you can just do that by just saying what? Let's, so user input, the same thing. Let's user input equals what? Document. D document dot query selector. Dot, uh-huh. Uh, I'm on for a pen. <laughs> so, then you put the user input there. Yes. So right now, let's console dot log this one. Let's user let's. Input. Um. So so since we, we are today we are dealing with button button button. Let's 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 rather bring it here. Uh, Mr. Abdul, you remember what you did? It's the same thing, no? Yes. Uh huh. So let's let's comment this. Let's remove this one. So right now. Eh, I, I want to I want to get this. I want to get this. I want to get this. We can never anything. Okay. So let me see if this one works. Okay, still you click me, it's, it's showing. So what do we do? We want to console this one. We want to console the whole of this. So we, instead of consoling this, let's put this one inside and see. Okay, so let's see what will happen. Just like this. You can see you are still getting the odds. You are still getting the, the form. And you are still getting the form. We are not getting what the user is typing in. So in order for you to get this, this one is called the value. This is, this is the value. This is whatever the user is typing. So it's called the value. So in order for you to get that, you have to, you have to chain it with what? Dot value dot value so meaning we, we just want to get the value out of the out of the what the input not not the whole of the input i think this one should work let's see so blah 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 submit so guys you can see please am i making sense yes okay okay so that's it that's it that's it so from now Based on based on this, right now, we, we, we know how to get the value submitted, but now we are showing it here. How do you how do you show it here? Or how do you add it to this one? That's the next thing that we are going to look at. That's the next thing. So so guys, we, we have started with a with a what do you call it? with this um, exercise or assignment or this project we have started. So the first thing is to get a value from the input box, submit it. Now we are getting it in the console. That's, that's, that's uh, stage one and, and we have been able to do it. The next thing is we have, to, we have to bind it or we have to add it to this list. So let's do some changes over here. This, this, this list that you are seeing here, like I said, the first tax is we should be able to add to the list. The next tax is we should be able to what? Delete from the list. Guys, are you following? 
Yes. That's the next thing. So um, I don't know whether we should just add to the list first. Let's just add to the list first. Eh? Let's uh, let's learn how you can you can add to the list. Okay, so with that one. Right now we have form. We have selected the whole form. So let's select our item list. And let's get that with what items. Do we have, I, let's see. We have, okay, so we can select this. Eh? We can select this, get, get element by what ID. So this is the mother, this is the parent component, right? Or the parent, parent element, not component. The parent element, that's the, the, the UL. Then these are the children, eh? as the professor said, Charles. Mm, so these are the Charles. <laughs> so these are the children you have, the LI, LI, LI being the children for this parent element. So the first thing is, in order for us to be able to add to this, let's select the parent element and also come and select this ones. Okay, so um, after this, after this, let's say var item list. You can use any name move. equals documents dot um query selector. Eh? Then we are getting who items. Let me see if we have items anywhere again. No, this is the only one. So let me just copy it and go and paste. Let me just copy it and paste it here. I think today we have quite a number of people joining, right? My only fear is they will not understand most of this thing because they were not here when you started. Okay. So, so right now we have been able to select the, the, the UL, right? So what's the next thing? So the next thing is, um, let's go inside our, our function. Eh? Let's go inside our function and do some append and blah, blah, blah. So, so right already, already we have, we have, we have done this, but we are consoling it. I don't want to console this again because that is not the main goal. So what I will do is let's, let me just, okay. So let me, co let me copy this one, comment this one now for, for the sake of notes. Uh, we are, the, the goal is not what console, but I wanted to show you something. So let's do the, um, the, the new item or user input. Uh, let's use the user input eh? equals this. So we are stalling whatever, whatever you'll be typing here, whatever you'll be typing here. We, 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 are, we are storing it here. That's the, that's the goal. Mm. We, are, we are storing it here. Okay. Then what's the next thing? The next thing is um, let's select this ally or let's create a new ally. Let's create a new ally before you can, when, because when you type here and you, 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 you submit, you are creating a new what? Ally. That is, you are adding a new ally, meaning you are creating. So let's create another ally here. Let's create another ally. So how do you do that? Yesterday, I think that was the last thing that we, we learned. So you can say the ally, the new list equals document dot create element. You remember this? I think this was the last thing. Create element. <coughs> then what is the name of the element? It's called what? Ally. Yes. Guys, are you following? Yes. Okay. Then the last thing or the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to we are going to um, match the two. This is the parent component and this is the what the, the ally. So meaning we are going to append. So that's the that's the term. Yesterday I, I mentioned this, if you remember this. This is the term. So we are going to append this to this. We are going to append the child to the parent. That's what we are going to do. So we can just select our ally here, ally mm -hmm, dot append, dot append. So 
we have a lot of properties that we can we can you can um, select from so dot append chart so since the li is a chart we are using the append chart then inside this one we are going to um we are going to create a new node this one is a bit technical we are going to create a new node i don't know yesterday did you use any node and i you know be i'm here yeah, I think it's, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 I know, I know, So we did all this, we did all this um, event. So you can just, you can just do document dot create text node. We are, we are, we are, we are inserting a text. Uh, we are inserting a text. Uh, we are inserting a text that the text that we are seeing here. So we are creating a text node. To, to, to receive that. So create text node. To receive who? To receive who? To receive this user input. So you come and put the user input inside. So user input. So, so we are almost done. We are almost done. So right now, um, let's just do item.list. This item dot list. Eh? Let's do item dot list. Item list dot append chart. And we are just going to append the what li. So this one should work. After that, I'll, I'll, I'll let me see. We still have some time. I'll, I'll go over this one again for you. Let me just try if this one work. So let me just do blah 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 blah. Insert. Voila. It's working, but you can see that we are missing the what, the 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 CSS, right? We are missing the CSS because we didn't add any CSS to this. Please, should I go over again, or you understand? Go, please go over. Go over, go. Over. Okay. So let me let me just delete everything here. I think for here, you guys understand up to this point, right? Okay, so we started with, or we started from here. We said the first thing that you have to do is to select the parent, the parent element. That's the what, the UL. And we gave it an ID of what? Items, right? We gave it an ID of items. So we are selecting it by ID. So that is why I have where I, item list equals document dot query selector items. Then inside the, 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 the click event or the click function, this is where we are going to execute everything. So we have to bring everything inside. So inside this one, we are, we declare a variable for the user input and we assign whatever the user is going to type in the, in the box, whatever the user is going to type here. We are, we are storing that here. That's the first thing. Are you following? Then from there, we said the next thing is what? Oh, yeah. so create, create what? New li, li tag eh? or list. Create new list here. Create new list here. Oh, yes. So that, that's, that's, the ne that's the next thing. So how do you do that? So you said that with that one, we can just do var li equals document dot create element. Which element are you creating? We are creating who? Li. Okay. Then the next one is what? We need to, we need to add the text eh, to the node with the input value. So we can say, um, add user, so add, add user text, eh? add user text with, with the what, with the input, with the input value rather, with the input value, or add, add text node rather, the text node, the text node. So add text node with this. So how do you do that? So we can do that by just doing what? 
we can just use this one. We can just call this one. So li dot append chart, eh? Append chart. Then document dot create text node. That is the string that we want to accept. Create text node. Then inside the text node, we are going to receive this property or this, this um, yes, the, the, the user input. We are just going to receive that. Then the last stage is just what? Append that one to the, to the, to the bottom. Eh? That's when you submit, it should, it, should, it should appear here. So we can just do that by doing what? You, you just call this, the parent, eh? That's the list, item list, dot append chart with this. So this is the first, the first thing I want you guys to understand before we start adding the class. So you can just type whatever you want, click submit, and you can see it's part of this now. Guys, are you following? Let me see. Have eleven. Uh, well, yeah, I'm. Uh, am, am I making sense here? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it coming? There is, is the understanding coming. Yes. Small. 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 <laughs> so far. So far, this has been very strange and difficult. But it's, it's, <laughs> we're we're getting it. <laughs> strange. It's but... very difficult. It's very difficult. <laughs> hey, that's me. Hey, I hear you. Is it because I'm most, an attorney? Yeah, <laughs> yeah some, some. So, so you need to practice and uh, whatever we are doing. You after the after the class, eh, tomorrow God willing, when you have time, eh, just just yeah. just just go over whatever we have done, and uh, you mm. can just say okay every two two hours, every uh, every day to dedicate two hours to to practice some mm. of these things. And guys, it, it, will, it, will, it will help you. Me, I've been saying it. I know what, I, what I'm saying. In Ghana mm -hmm. here, in Ghana here, personally, I have not seen any, any training school that will okay. teach you like the way we are learning here together. A and so, I, don't want to I don't want to <laughs> mention any school's name, but you can try. You know the coding schools out there can try no coding is not it's not easy so it's not easy for people to teach you can see sometimes even when i'm teaching you guys i do all kind of music you have to go and google yeah. and come back and do it you guys those who have been being with me from the one who, who, who testified this mr abdu and co sometimes you say me yeah kranam me kram you me so then we just go and google and sometimes you you guys will even assist me on that so that's why i'm saying if this one we are learning together try your best to 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 practice whatever we are learning here and 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 it will help you it will help you a lot i've, I've been saying for that sure, sure. If, if if you're a programmer in ghana at this stage brother i come there i've been doing no one will <laughs> know though there are some companies here that oh yes that kind of a long queue that last time i saw me on on, on their work stadium or their which which ever stadium. Hey, guys, you guys should sit up. Don't 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 allow yourself. Otherwise, let me tell you the best pay that you can get at this stage, right from school, will be the, the highest that you can get will be eight hundred thousand. Hey. Yes. Wow. You sure? Not 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 program not in programming. If you don't have any uh -huh. skills. Ah. Uh. If you, don't have, if you don't have any skills, that's what I'm saying. R right after school, you start for job. Okay. Maybe you, get, Ghana. you get you get maybe are you saying eight hundred Ghana or eight hundred thousand? Eight hundred Ghana. That is that uh -huh. is <laughs> uh -huh. because eight hundred thousand yeah. <laughs> Charlie. Whoa. But, but for for a developer, more than manager. developer <laughs> no one will pay you less than 2000 no matter where you are. A developer. Yes, for developer. Oh, okay. Based on what we are doing, eh, 
If, so right now, I've started assisting some of you with your CVs and the rest. I don't just come mm, to me. Uh, I'll come to you. Uh, Please um, just, just run to me and, uh, and tell me I should, I should prepare your CV for you without building the skills, the needed skills. Otherwise, I will do it for you and so you will not get done. Oh, okay. Yes. So so it's, try your best to it's follow a... whatever you are doing. As time goes on, when you get to the Vue.js, that is the main thing. That's that's where I'll give you real projects about if you have about just just two solid projects on your CV, you are good to go. You don't need plenty of uh, projects. Even just one yeah. project and the project is complete. It 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 is a well functional project. You are good to go. You can get a job and, <laughs> and they will start paying you. Uh, I'll two thousand thousand they are paying you. you. Let me tell you. I'm not telling you all but for starters, <laughs> you can get two thousand. Okay. In Ghana, uh, yes. Please, I'm interested, though, but I still think I didn't join from the onset. Sister, for the interest, everyone is interested, though, but <laughs> Abdul. Yeah. What do I do? Abdul, can you can you can you speak to her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need more ideas about this. Uh, mm. For the money, for the money, it is there. But programming, I will not scare you, but. It is not something you can say I'm doing it for part time. Debbie, it doesn't no. work that way. That way, you need to dedicate so, your so whole you know time. Hello. Well, I've got to do a lot of yeah. work. See, uh, if uh, I can see Betty, when you, anytime you join, there's a baby, a, a child who is disturbing you. <laughs> and, <laughs> I sleep now. This is the beginning of your trouble, you see? <laughs> <laughs> I beg you. I beg you. I know, I know my problem already. I beg you. Yes. Now, okay, I let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah. <laughs> please, myself, if you continue. Yes. But Mr. Abudu, Mr. Abudu, please, you have to let us know because the teacher start before we get joined, so we get more idea from you. You don't have problem. Let's Let's all put in our efforts. Me, I have a minimum two hours a day that I do on programming. At That's least great. two hours. That's great. At least two hours. And I don't okay. fear buying data. So it, it oh, okay. takes a lot. Okay. <laughs> it a lot. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so okay. It will not okay. come on a silver platter. You have to do a lot. For me, oh, okay. I am hoping that I should be the first person in this group to get a, a job. With my programming skills, I'm working so hard. Shop, 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 shop. Inshallah. <laughs> okay, so guys, I want us to do some modification here. Let's go back to our HTML. And like I said, right now we're almost there. We have been able to. We have been able to um, add. What do you call it? We have been able to add. Just that. The 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 the. What do you call it? The CSS is not part. That is why we are we are not seeing it nice. But even you can even do it straight away. Oh, yeah. So all that you have to do is what? Remember this yesterday we did do so. We call the li here. We can just do li dot. Uh, what do you do? Dot what? Class name. Uh -huh. Li dot class name. Equals, equals. So let's come here and copy this class name. And that is all. That is all. This one should this one should solve the, the problem for us now. So let me save it. Let me go back. Just type anything. Wabam, we are there. Okay. Guys, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's it. You just add the, the class name. You know the class name already. It's here. They are here. Just copy it and come and paste it here. And and that's it. Guys, are you following? Yes, sir. That's it. That's it. So right now, as 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 I'm saying, let's do some modification inside our HTML. I want to add, I want to include a button, a delete button. And I want to include a delete button. Then we will also write another function to tackle the delete. So we have a long way to go today. So this is one function. This function is just adding to the node, 
So you are going to create another, you are going to write another function to delete from the node. All right. So let's say we are 50% done. Yes, we are 50% done. So right now, what I will do is I'll just delete everything here. And, and, and inside this one, let's um, create a button. So let me just create a button. Let's create a button. Lazy. So I want to use this one button with a, a, a class of BTN with another class of BTN danger. Danger stand for what? Red. BTN danger, yeah. then BTN small. BTN SM. SM. Then, is that all? Then float. <laughs> Float. We want we want to position it at the at the at the left, at the right. So float right. Float right. And the last one is let's add a class of delete. Okay. So let me just save it. Wow. What is happening? What's happening? Okay, okay. Button, 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 button. Oh, oh, see, we didn't put anything here. So let's put X here. Capital X to, to show that that times. Great, guys. So there's it. So let's just copy. Let's just copy and paste. Let's just copy and paste this one three times. So instead of one, 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 just two, two, three, four, four. So that's it. Right now, let's add let's add another one from here. You can see this one doesn't have the button. Guys. Yes. So what do you do? We need to append that one to <laughs> the area. More work to do, say. Yes. So <laughs> let's let's create let's create a, a new button. And let's let's give it the, the same like like how we did it. Let's create a new button. Let's so we are going to do it in three. So one, we are going to create a new button. How do you create a new button? You use the hot create uh, create document dot create what element. Then you use what button. So that's that's uh, stage one. Stage two, we are going to give it what a class name as you saw. Then. Stage three will be what we just append it to the hot the text node, then we are done. So let's go and, and start. So where should we start from? So here we can say create a new button. Create a new button. So how do you do that? We can just say va delete. Button equals document ish document wow. dot 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 create elements. What element do you want to create? You want to create the button, right? This I'm done. This this is the first one. Then second, second we have to add what the class. So give your button bootstrap class. So how do you do that? You can just do delete button dot. You remember this, right? Class name 
equals, I will not waste my time. Let's just go here. Copy, copy this class on any. Copy any of this. And come and paste it here. Then what do we do? We just we just add it. We, we append, yeah. Yes. So we are going to append. So we are just going to do delete button dot append dot append chart, right? Document document dot create node. So it's the same thing. They are now create text node. So this one, what to be the written? This one is straightforward. That's what X. This are you following? Yes. Yes, please. So right now we have created a button. We have created a button. So we need to add a button to the hot, to the LI, to the LI chart. So what do you do? You just do li dot append chart, append chart, which is all the delete btn. So this one should this one should work. So let's 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 add anything and see. Voila, we are there. Please, are you following? Yes. So, so this one is called Valina JavaScript. You can, you can, you can say this is this is called a pure JavaScript. Uh -huh. JavaScript, JavaScript. When a pure one, vanilla JavaScript. They are vanilla JavaScript. So you, can, you can, you can just, you can just search. So I have a question. Okay. Is it vanilla as in vanilla? Vanilla. V A N I L L. No, no. Okay, so you can see if you have read this article, learn vanilla JavaScript before any what framework. Any Guys, are you following? I see framework. So if I had skipped this once and just moved straight to either Angular or whatever framework that I want to teach you, and it's true, it's true. It's it's not it's not good to just jump straight to framework. When you do that, you always come back to whatever I'm teaching you here. Because you know, especially React, eh? if you just move straight to React, in fact, are they a question now? You will never understand. That's why React, React is pure JavaScript. So if you, if you just move straight and go and learn React, oh, you are just worrying yourself. Okay, so guys, I think we are, we are done with the append. Uh, the next one is what? To remove it. Do you want us to do that one today or we should um, wait for next week? We can do that next week. <laughs> we are just left with 10 minutes before time. <laughs> yes, and, yeah. and we are going to write something similar to this again. You see? So kindly upload this to uh, uh, GitHub and then we'll clone it. Okay, so let me do that for you right now, guys. So, uh, VS Code also makes um, the, the the interaction with GitHub very, very simple and cover short for you. So, yeah, all that you have to do is what, type the message. So, what did you learn today? Events. So, events, right? Yes. So, I'll just commit it. Then I just come here, push. We are done. Hey, just like that. Yes. 
So, so, <laughs> so start again, start again, please. I start again, say, I need my push here, you start again. Oh, oh, I've pushed it. So, meaning, uh, Abdul, please share your screen so that I, I, we will use your own. Okay. Uh, Abdul, did you clone it? Do you have something like this there? Uh, no. Okay, okay, guys, if you can push to my repo. I mean, you have to create your own repo and do that. All right, so let, let, me, let me go over. So you saw some files over here, right? Right now they are gone because I've pushed them. They were all the changes that we made today. That is, today we added a new file. That's the event. Then we also made some changes, a lot of changes here. So we had some files listed here. So if yes. you have it, so if you have it here, all that you have to do is just come here. So you have to, first, you have to click here first. Always, always you'll be here, always you'll be here. So just click on this. This is the, uh, this is the gate. This is the source code, the version control system. So just click on it. Come and so try Can you share my screen so that, I think I have something like that here. I will, I will just share your screen. Let me, let me stop sharing. Someone is asking a question, right? Money and girls. <laughs> Help me. Hey, hey, you have a lot of okay, 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 okay. That's it. That's it. So you are using the master branch. Hey, can you push to your master branch? I don't know. You let's see. So come to your text, the message there. Yeah. So just type this one should be based on what you have done so far. So this one should be a description of, the message should be a description of whatever you have done. That is why I mean, I try to push every day, not even uh, every day, on every feature that I work on, I push it. So that I can do a well, like document on it. So you personally, based on what you have done, just type anything that you want there to describe it. Okay, anything at all. Yes, any message. I don't know. I won't know with you. But if you are if you are collaborating with a, a a group of people on a project, it's advisable to 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 write a, a, a description that they will understand. All right. So event listeners. So right now, just uh huh. No. This one. Yeah, use that one. Commit. So yeah, do yes. Okay, so we almost done. Ah, why do you have this master blah blah here? Yeah, can you hide this thing? This thing. No, no, no. Because right now you open the whole uh enlarge your uh, what do you call it? Your VS code and everything. Maximize it. Okay, so now you can see some thread dots over there. Yeah. Guys, are you following? So just come and click on push. We are done. This is magic, eh? <laughs> okay. I see. Wow. All right. All right. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm stopping the shape. Okay, okay. Okay, so guys, I think we can end here. And today we have we have we have learned a lot. We have learned a lot today. So what I yes. try to do is guys, you can see right now when you refresh the page, it will go away, right? So that is the reason why. You have to you have to get a database right now since you you guys most of you are now going to learn how to how to um, build APIs and connect to your database with Django and 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 Python. Please take that one to very very seriously. A uh, in in three, I'm gonna say yet to have it here and then then yet to have it here and then How many are how many of you have heard about this thing before? This proverb. Yeah, yet it's a bit an amateur. On one yet channel. So, yeah. so, so when, when you learn the Python Django, 
The next thing is, I'm also speeding up teaching you what the front end. So automatically, all of you become full stack developers. So more be two micro. I mean, I'm not a full stack developer. <laughs> that you see. So you guys should try your best and 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 Buster. and take things serious. And full stack developer there. If you're a full stack developer, this two thousand amica it doesn't cover you. You are going to take like four, five, six k. Yes. Wow. Yes, a full stack developer. Yes, it's so cran a three. Oh no, yes, it's so three k. So guys, take it serious. Why? Wow, 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 bravo. Okay, so you can see that when you refresh it, everything is gone. It's not saving anywhere. So that is why next week, God willing, we'll be tackling this. Uh, Local storage. Eh? How to? Yeah. I, I wanted to suggest that instead of this local storage, can't we create a SQL database and use it for this purpose? 